Born in the year 1991 in Marquette, Michigan, John Lautner was an American architect known for his dramatic space age inspired architecture style as well as his engineering approach to construction problems. Coming from a family whose interests lie in art and architecture, his first building experience was that of his family's summer cabin on the shore of Lake Superior, where his parents designed and built the cabins themselves. John Lautner was a student of the University of Michigan and graduated in the year 1933 with a degree in English. Upon graduating, he then proceeded into a six-year-long mentorship under world-renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright. It was his mother, Vida Lautner, who secured the apprenticeship for John Lautner. In the course of the years under Wright, Lautner helped supervise many of his mentors' projects before deciding to establish his own architecture practice in the year 1983. His ideology is firmly based on the relationship of the human being to space and of space to nature. He also believes that everything, whether natural or built environment, must be balanced. While other architects of the time looked to the past for inspiration, John Lautner gazed into the future and present for an all-American city. Due to this, Lautner's style was mainly of futuristic modern design which were later dubbed Googie architecture. Throughout his career, John Lautner's works mostly revolved around building residences for his clients. He once said, and I quote, Shelter is the most basic of human needs. Unlike other architects, his approach to construction problems was solved by looking through an engineer's point of view. His buildings were firmly rooted on their sites and designed to withstand anticipated natural disaster. His ideology is not limited as he was also fond of using strong geometrical designs such as large and clear angular structures and vast curves. His building also stressed the importance of providing the users with better view of the surrounding area through clever manipulation of ventilations and openings. As an accomplished architect of his time, John Lautner worked on numerous projects, out of which his main focus was in designing houses. This was in line with his belief in the importance of shelter as a basic need. His various residential projects were able to stand alone, each with their own unique characteristic, yet still reflect Lautner's personal style in designing. The Sheets Goldstein residence, completed in 1963, is one of the most well-known structures by Lautner. His design work on the residence include that of its furniture, interior, and other fittings. This was done as he wanted the furnishings to relate to the aesthetic form of the house itself. Meanwhile, the Elrod House on Southridge Drive in Palm Springs, built in 1968 for interior designer Arthur Elrod, is memorable for its enormous dome concrete roof with wedge-like sections cut out to accommodate skylights and provide indirect light. This reflected Lautner's preference of using natural lighting and ventilation in his structures. Another of his famous projects is the Hope Residence, custom designed for comedian Bob Hope. It's a massive structure inspired by a volcano yet resembles a spaceship when viewed from ground level. This structure is known for its dramatic design which includes an open roof right in the middle of the whole structure. The Rainer Residence, completed in 1963, also known as Silvertop, is a 7,500 square foot house designed to follow the contour of the hilltop on which it was built. The structure, like many other works by Lautner, displays ingenious solutions to site problems while providing expansive views of nature. One of the most modern residences built at the time, the chemosphere is praised for both its unique design and for its ingenious solution to the problem of the site. 45 degree hillside proved an impossible site to build for the architects of the time. Lautner, however, took up the daunting task and engineered a new way for a home to be built. He decided that the home would be a one story octagon perched on a single 9 meter concrete column. This approach reduced the total cost by half of the conventional solution of using retaining walls and land drains. This method also left the natural surroundings untouched. The single column is supported by an 8 meter concrete pedestal buried under the earth which is strong enough to withstand earthquakes and heavy rains. The column, however, does not support the roof of the house as it does not continue up into the interior. Instead, steel struts shoot out from the column to support the floor of the house. The reason for this is that Lautner intended for a circular roof light built in the middle of the octagon where the column would have been. This provides natural lighting in the deepest part of the plan. The structure of the residence is made of steel and timber, and the roof is supported by curved portal frames of laminated wood. 
These materials were carefully chosen due to the earthquake zone it is located in. The perimeter of the house is lined with window openings for maximum view of the surrounding vistas. The interior is divided into several designated spaces. The northern side facing the open view contains public spaces such as living room, kitchen and dining room, while the side facing the hill contains four bedrooms and a bathroom. In the center of the house exists a fireplace surrounded by seating areas. Due to the steepness of the site, reaching the residence requires users to park their car 30 meters below the house and take a funicular up the hill to where the entrance is located near the kitchen. However, this is not the only way into the residence as there exists a small path accessible by foot that leads off to the top side of the hill. For such an intricately designed home, the downside of high maintenance costs results in its rundown state until a German couple bought and restored it to its original value. Due to the significance of the design, it was declared Los Angeles Historic Cultural Monument in 2004.